Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and right now I'm on my way to the San Clemente outlet for the uh, weekly calls and coffee. Come on, let's go. This is the coffee part of Cars and Coffee. It's sponsored by Ruby's and they're here every Saturday. Nice, an SSL Camino. Cars and Coffee merchandise. Oh, well, check this out. I see the new Ford Mustang. Yes, this is the Ford Mustang EV. All right, check it out. So this is Ford's future right here. They're betting the whole company on this thing. All right, so let's check out the interior here. Oh, check out that giant iPad. I love it. Yeah, following the current styling trend of just sticking an iPad on a dash, just leaving it as is without any kind of blending, integration whatsoever. I mean, it looks cool. I like it. I mean, I don't mind it. But I'm sure some people think that's just kind of tacky. Small display there. Feels nice. Yeah, check out the wheels. Yeah. These are interesting touches here. The way they slope the uh, the lights like that. And check out the panoramic roof there. All glass on top. So again, another look at the interior. Dominated by that giant iPad. <laughs> so, this is the Mustang E. What do you guys think? Let me know. And uh, I guess it's true to Simon's word, the Mustang E does not get to park in supercar road because that's reserved for ice vehicles only at least for now and speaking of ice at the front of the lot here is a nice Porsche Panamera with a uh, with police lights look at that it's got police lights on it <laughs> can you imagine being chased by this thing continue right along we got uh oh, Jay's Ford GT Oh, check out this Roy F355. F3, that's a nice convertible too. Tan interior. F355 F1 Spider. And Austin Martin DBS, Super Legera. With the uh, crushed carbon fiber so check it out on the dash right there that's crushed carbon fiber and it's also on here as well and i seem to set up the alarm because <laughs> i stuck my camera in the interior <laughs> a good look here at the v12 engine hand built by this guy Lamborghini Huracan, rear wheel drive, another Lamborghini Huracan with a nice wrap and a huge carbon lip. Miami Vice Ferrari Testarossa, nice. <laughs> Audi R8, interesting about this Audi R8, uh, the side blades here, it's color painted. Uh, most R8, they use a carbon fiber or, or another color. 
Another Testarossa, yellow one. Sorry. Another for 360. Lamborghini Aventador Roaster. Take a look at that. Yeah, this is the only Lamborghini I would fit because if I, I, I hit the roof, but if I take the roof off, I think I'll be sitting about right here. Yeah, that'll be my, lo that'll be my head location. Four five eight Italia Spider. And we have the GT3 RS in green, in green and with with white washers. That's an option, by the way. You had to pay extra for that. And then back in, we have a beautiful Ferrari 812. He is backing in with no assistant too. Impressive. He's actually doing a good job. Seven twenty S of a body kit. I see a new front and addition to uh, addition to the rear wing. Looks interesting. So they just slap this little piece on there, and also I see they slap this piece on there as well. So I believe this is yeah, it's a, it's a Novatech body kit. So it's got the Novatech uh, front nose clip, Novatech pieces here. So do you think it actually improves the looks of the 720 or do you think it distracts from it? I'm not sold on it, so let me know. Lamborghini Urus. This is now the best-selling Lamborghini. They sell more Euruses than every other Lamborghini model combined down. So this is the car that put, I guess, made Lamborghini Lamborghini now. Yeah. From now on, you can consider Lamborghini as the SUV company. They no longer make sports cars. McLaren 600 LT and backing up next to it is the new F8 Tributo. So let's check out both of them. So 600 LT, LT stands for long tail. And what's distinctive about this uh, car is the top mounted exhaust. So check that out. Exhaust comes up the top and it applies a bit of downforce too. So it's kind of neat. And backing up, we have the F8. This is the replacement for the 488. Say no to Tesla. Hmm? No to Tesla. Say no to Tesla. Say no to Tesla. Say yes to your Panamera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is the founder of Cars and Coffee's son helping the F8 back in. You got about five feet. Alrighty. You probably get that. Yep, you good. All right. So let's get a closer look at this nose. Over in this lot, we have the car club. So this is the uh, club of the Hyundais. Yeah. Hyundais. And then over here, we have the uh, more imports. I believe this is the Supra clubs right here. And here's a Lexus. Oh, check this out. Here's a Lexus SC400 with a Toyota Supra motor. Wow. Look at the size of that turbo. No air cleaner, no air filter. Whatever it gets, whatever goes in there, gets goes in there. Yeah. And here we have the same thing, the same motor in the proper Supra, and at least this time he has a proper protection on the intake. Mm -hmm. And another, another one. Whoa! A nice blanket on the turbo, protected from heat. And still one more, another another super turbo. They all been converted to single turbo setup. As I said, the uh, the super used to be a twin turbo setup. There was a small turbo and a big one. The small one spools up faster. The big one takes over the higher RPM. They these guys just replaced it with one big one, even bigger than the factory one. This is Robert's Mustang. Robert's one of the photographers here at Cars and Coffee, and. Uh, 
This Mustang has a, well, it's not stock. It has this big Whipple charge on it. I think he told me he's making over 800 horsepower. That's a, that's a lot of muscle. Speaking of muscle, check out the uh, new Mustang GT500. This is the most powerful factory Mustang ever made. Uh, it's making yeah, 800 horsepower nearly. And check out, he's got the, he's got the carbon fiber wheel option. Check it out. Carbon fiber wheels. Yeah, and the big Brimbo brakes on there. This one is fully loaded. It's got all the options. Nice big carbon fiber wing in the back as well. Huge exhaust ports. New C8 Corvette. I think a Porsche 356. And a Range Rover from the Gold Rush Rally. Oh, cool. A GTM. This is a, this is a kit car that's based on a Corvette. So you take a Corvette chassis and you replace the body with, with this. But all the running gears, all the uh, the motor, everything, it's all Corvette. Lotus, big Viper. Oh, if you're crazy about Mercury, this is it. This is a Mercury. It's a spare engine, spare engine, just in case. Yeah, always have a spare engine with you, you know, just in case. <laughs> and check out this classic, a 928. Porsche 928, I think this is called the 928 S4, it's the full official name. And yeah, that's how the headlights look. What happens is it pops down, so it looks like it's looking at the sky, then it pops up like that. And uh, back in its time, this was considered a huge wing. Mercedes E-Class wagon, 911's convertible, Nissan GTR, Jaguar F-Type, Porsche Panamera, a C4 Corvette, nice. Not a Corvette, Viper, this is like the muscle car section. Supercharged Z28 Cromel coming in. A vintage uh, Cromel SS, nice. And here we have the Back to the Future DeLorean. <laughs> All right. It is, it look, even has, it has the flux capacitor. There it is, see? There's the flux capacitor. And you, I guess you set the date right there. <laughs> Powered by the flux capacitor. Now here's something you don't see every day. It's an Avante. And it's not just any Avante, it's a supercharged Avante. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, 1963 Avante. A lot of modification to this one. Nice. And, and check this out, right next to the Avante, it's a Corvette, it's a Corvette station wagon. That's right, so it's got the front of a Corvette and it's got the rear of a station wagon. And it now sits five people. And it's got room in the back as well. So. The owner is calling it the Nomad. So this is a Corvette Nomad. I think this one just came back from Desert Storm. Look at that chimney intake. The chimney intake. This is so it can like drive through water, you know, if you, case you want to drive through a river. Camel and a couple of C8 Corvettes with this nice, uh, looks like Laguna Blue. Nice. 
and with matching seats too. Check out the uh, blue interior with the yellow seat belt. Oh wow, good. Huh? Really nice accents there. Very track focused GT2 RS, black and white. Track focus ZL1 Corvette. Cool plates. Oh, check out this. This is a picker. Wow. Where did the owner find this thing? And how did he get it here to cause and coffee? I mean, does it even start? I guess these do the baker, they, they're built forever. A lot are getting pretty filled up. Not surprising considering beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. Great day to spend a morning checking out cars. So Cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it's totally free event. It's family, family friendly, it's dog friendly. So if you have a hot car, you want to show it off, you're welcome to bring it, find a parking spot, back into it, enjoy the show. So uh, yeah, come check it out if you're ever in the area. JohnShelfandJohnShelf.com. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Like and share my videos, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.